This video brought to you by the great Bat Lord. So, here's another linear system. It may not be as easy to solve as the last one. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to write them vertically aligned so we can quickly see um, or make it easier to pick which x's and y's to eliminate. So looks like we're going to have one of those special quick eliminations. Or maybe, maybe there is, maybe not. So I think I'm just going to take the first two and I'm going to subtract them because they have matching z's. So I'll have x plus y plus z equals 7. And what I'm really going to do is multiply by negative 1 and then add. So negative 3x plus 2y minus z equals negative 3. I'm going to add these two equations together and see what we get. So 7 minus 3 is 4. This is 0. y minus uh, 2 is negative, uh, negative 1. And x, um, what am I doing? Uh, this should be y. Plus, I'm adding. So 7 plus negative 3 is 4. That's true. Z, uh, 1 plus negative 1 is 0. That's true. 1 plus 2 is positive 3, and 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2x. Okay, not much I can do with that. So now I have to combine another two equations, and here's the key. I have to eliminate the same variable I eliminated here so that I end up with two two-variable equations. So I could either pick the second and the third or the first and the third. Um, I don't think it matters here. I'm just going to, whatever, I'm going to pick the second and the third. And I'm going to multiply the first one by 3. Actually, we're going to make it negative 3, so we have opposite z's again. So I end up with negative 9x plus 6y minus 3z equals negative 9. And then I'm just copying the other one, x plus 6y plus 3z equals 25. And now that I have opposite uh, coefficients for one of the variables, for the z, the same one over here, I'm just going to add the two together. So negative 9x plus 1x is a negative 8x. 6y plus 6y is 12y. And that's 0. And this is going to equal, boy, 17. Okay. We Note, we now have two two variable equations in the exact same variables, x and y. We're now going to apply elimination to these two variables. So um, I see that I have uh, a 3 and a 12. So if I multiply this one by, let's say, negative 4, then I'll have opposites right off the bat. So we'll combine those two here. Um, we'll have 8x minus 12y equals negative 16. And then we'll just leave this other one the same. Negative 8x plus 12y equals 17. And we're going to add these two together. Ooh, look what happens. 0, 0. We get 0 equals 1, which is certainly not true. Well, what does this mean? Well, if you think back to the two-variable system, when we got no solutions, it meant there were parallel lines somewhere in there. So what this means is that, well, these these are parallel lines, but in the three dimensions, we must have parallel planes. So this tells us there's no solution, and uh, it suggests that the planes are parallel. Which means um, these are not consistent. No but they are independent because um, we do have three distinct equations. So three distinct planes.